Hey guys, clubs sicken me. Why do people get drunk just for the sake of getting drunk? I don't understand that. I never did. I just see people like going out in town or well, going out for the night and just getting drunk because they want to. I don't get it. And also, why are you boring if you don't want to drink? It's your own choice, it's your own life. You don't have to do it. What if you don't like being drunk? I, I certainly don't like being drunk. I don't think it's funny and I certainly don't think the days after are funny. I can't function for two days if I have a hangover. Is it really a crime to say no to another beer? And also, what is it with clubs? I don't know why people even enjoy that. I can I, I, I just enjoy the company. But clubs, it's too crowded. There are people everywhere. You can't you can't even you can't stand up and you certainly can't get a place to sit. And if you want to dance, you, you can't. You're just grinding up on sweaty bodies and the floor is sticky and the place stinks. I don't get why it's so fun. And also, I've seen some fights break out when I'm when I'm out. Why do people fight when they're out? Is your dick really so small that you have to beat up another person just for being smaller than you and not a, a douche like you are? Sometimes I don't understand people. Maybe I'm weird, and if I am, I'm proud of it. And of course, yes, I can go out, I can get drunk, but I, do, I don't do it just for getting drunk, I do it for having a good time with my friends. And sometimes I don't think about it if I drink too much. Actually, I can't even feel when I drink. When, I'm, when I drink too much, until it's too late, I can sit there enjoying my, my beer or my drinks, and the moment I stand up, I can just feel, whoa, the floor is moving, running sh straight to, to the bathroom, and one night I was puking three times. I still don't understand how I was able to get home. And of course, you think so much of yourself when you're drunk. I remember a time when I was so drunk, and I was out shopping for Christmas presents, I know, Great idea. I was with some friends, we were getting Chinese food, and I was so drunk, I, I didn't know that I didn't have any food on my plastic fork. And when I took a bite and looked down, the head was missing, but I kept chewing. So I ate a plastic fork. I, it's not the first time when I've done that, I've eaten a wax fruit, but that wasn't when I was drunk. And then they have had to drive me around in a shopping cart, send me on a bus home where I couldn't even stand. I was <laughs> holding on to a pole like, mm, you take me home safe, right? I think everyone on the bus was pretty scared of me. I got off from the train station, walked around it like three times, asked the same woman three times if there was a bus or a train, and I think the last time I asked her she was afraid of me and she almost ran away. I ended up taking a cab, puking in it, having to pay Doubled the fee, waking up my dad to pay it, where he the next morning I, I wasn't very popular and he said that he had told me that he would gladly pick me up. Fantabulous. Which is also a reason why I don't drink because I don't remember anything and my memory is already already pretty fucked and it, it does get better with some alcohol. So I think I, I've had my fair share of getting drunk. That's not said, I, I, I probably won't do it again, but I've been pretty lucky to find my way home so far, and I don't want to risk it again. <laughs> but let me know about your drunk stories. And thank you very much for watching this video, and thank you very much for subscribing. And until next time, bye-bye. And until next time, I'll see you.